Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I have some garage sale haulage. Um, I've, we had the neighboring town, South St. Paul, had um, their composure days this weekend, so they have really good garage sales. And we actually found, like one not far from our house, was a little old lady. She was 91, but she didn't look a day over 89. And she had like tons of fun stories to tell. Um, anyways, she had such cool stuff. Like everything was, and then it was Saturday and everything was half off. So all her fabrics were a dollar each, but actually 50 cents. So I got this big piece of felt. And some of these are so cool. This is vintage. Very cool. And they're good sized pieces. And this is some calico or ditzy flower. I love this. That would be a really pretty tablecloth. And this is cool. I love these colors. Definitely my colors. I love the flowers. And I'm pretty sure this is like mmm 70s because it's old you know these two t I'm like this definitely is 70s and it's in really good shape it's like a weird woven -y polyester kind of thing and that's I don't know it's pretty old looking this is so cool. This is probably 80s, I'm guessing. And some more. This is like a lot. There's a ton of it. A ton of it here. She used to make quilts. But she said it's old. This is pretty. This is cool. So the calicos will be kind of fun. I want to make like maybe some sachets or something. I don't know. And then I'll have to think of something for these. Of course, I was justifying it like crazy when I was there, thinking, oh, I could do this, I could do that. And um, I forgot what I was thinking. I don't remember what all the great ideas were. Then she had, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. That's like, what, 13 cents? This is pretty cool. I, I'm definitely happy about that, and hopefully this will come off. I don't think it's gonna. See, that's the thing. It's like you can practically wring their neck when they put something like this on here. Ooh, it's almost. Oh, almost. Oh well. But there's some cool. It's all black and white inside. But, oh, I didn't see that. Extra two for one. You know, but just some cute, oh my gosh. Look at the lighting. Isn't that crazy? That's like crazy. I feel like I've seen this one before, actually. But these will be fun to, you know, cool skiers. Uh, that's funny. Those would be really fun to make. I, look at those Ugh, loafers. That's cool. Big brother. Slippers. So cool. I mean, seriously, there's a gal on here. What's her name? Um, I'll put it down below. If you're interested in, um, you know, like sewing or knitting or whatever, she takes patterns from like the early 1900s up to like her favorites, and you can tell her vibe is definitely like 40s and 50s, but she'll recreate patterns and it's incredible. She's very gifted, she makes princess dresses for those, you know, who want to see that, but I'll put her below, she's real, she's young, it's crazy. Okay, so then, these are like really old. Because this woman was, um, she was the president of the Ladies Auxiliary at the VFW in town. She ran all the, they do a fish fry every Friday. They do tacos every Saturday. But she ran that plus 
she was the drum majorette and the lead person and taught everybody the, um, uh, what is it, flags and, uh, what do they call it, you know, the color guard. And they, she said they won nationals like six times under her tutelage. She made a ton of money too. Um, so anyways, she was kind of cool to talk to. So she had that. She had this was a corner. It's Tupperware. I love it. Because I use, they have a bigger one like this that I use for my change drawer at the sale. And two other sales we went to, they had them, but they were using them. And I was like, oh. Because I lost mine. And then I found it. And I had two of them. And one of them, the interior tray is missing. So I'm kind of bummed about that. But anyway, so I found this. I thought that was kind of cute. And I see now that this goes on like that. Alright, and then this was kind of cool just for... Oh, I thought this was really cool. That alone's worth 50 a quarter. And again, this was a quarter. This is just kind of fun, you know, for junk journals or whatever. And this is awesome. Awesome. Anglers all. Definitely the artwork is cool. Huh. Interesting. So, ooh, there's, I didn't even know that. There's illustration. So that's cool. And then another sale we went to had tons of antiques. And this was, are you ready? Three dollars. And I've never seen one of these, um, any of these kind of photo albums where they're actually all filled in practically. I mean, it's almost full to the brim. Plus, the problem though is that they're a little bit hard to get out. Like this might be okay, some of these. I kind of was poking at them like that. But sometimes they, you gotta kind of Pick and choose which side you want. But there's some really cool pictures in here. So I was, and nothing, nothing at this. The garage stunk to high heaven, but none of the stuff stinks, which is nice. And I can tell because I am allergic to mold. And I wouldn't have been able to buy it or go near it. And this was 50 cents. All their stuff was 50. Other than that. And then we got talking with her. And... She had um, asked for price on the these last two things, but she goes, you know what, just take it for 50 cents. I'm like, well, you twisted my arm. So this is cool. Look at the scary clown. <laughs> cool illustrations. And this is awesome, from 1897. And Lincoln, that'll be cool to scan. Pretty brittle though. I never heard of the orange jet farmer. I worked for the company that had the farmer magazine, which started in South Dakota and then became a huge printing and publishing company in St. Paul. And the rest is history. I worked there for 20 years. Anyways, that's cool. This is super cool. I love the cover. Look at the, all the type. I mean, just think all those, every letter was put in a little drawer or a little roll. But this will be cool to scan and shrink down and use. I like the illustrations on there, on this one. So then, I went to my friend's, my friend's mom is in a nursing home. And believe it or not, there's a video, I don't know if it's right before this one, but it's before this one. And it's Sheila um, watching a bunny, or she spotted a bunny. And um, that's the nursing home that my sis my girlfriend's 
mom is in. It's just gorgeous. So anyway, we went and met her there. Because otherwise she's the only one that goes and sees her mom. And I grew up with these people, so. But she gave me this um, super cool, I don't know why I'm doing this. She goes, Rock, she goes, I knew you'd like this thing. Are you kidding me? I love it. It's kind of like the Jane Davenport faces. Um, so I got that. And she filled it with really cool old wrapping paper and German scrap. I mean, this is authentic German scrap because her dad was German. Or, you know, German and Polish. And her mom was Italian. But look at how cool this is. Total steampunk. Did I see punk? Steampunk. These are 70s. And then she goes, look at the famous raccoon. Because that raccoon that climbed up the building to take, have her babies up on the top. Lori works right across the street and they watched it the whole time. So she's like, yeah, look at the famous raccoon. I thought that was funny. This is cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at how old this is. This has got to be really old. Super old. I can even remember some of that stuff. Cute. Another piece of that. And this is still in the package, not even used. So I'm excited. Um, so that's my little haul for um, vintage and sewing and whatnot. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.